Good morning guys, this is Mike Padua and we are back to our latest analysis on the uh, tropical systems over the Western Pacific, particularly here within the Philippine area of responsibility near the coast of uh, Samar provinces. We have a uh, low pressure area which is uh, expected to become a uh, short-lived tropical uh, cyclone. And this is our weather analysis for this Saturday through Monday, April 9 to 11, 2022. And this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. So here's the latest uh, graph set that we issued last night. And uh, this is valid for today, Saturday. The uh, tropical uh, uh, low pressure systems outside of uh, the Philippine area responsibility, 95W is now... Uh, rapidly developing tropical storm with international name Malacas. Okay, this is also a Filipino name and it is expected to become a full blown typhoon within the next uh, couple of days, maybe on Sunday. But uh, the track of this uh, tropical storm is not expected or but the track of this tropical storm is still uncertain if it will enter par or not but uh, if we are sp uh, asking if it will make landfall it is not okay the system will just remain over the uh, tropical waters of the uh, western pacific so most likely it will go this way and then it will curve towards that direction okay so that will be the uh, track of uh, 90 or zero to w okay now no longer 90 or 95 because it's already a tropical cyclone. It's the second tropical cyclone of 2022. The first one is a short-lived uh, cyclone which uh, dissipated here a couple of weeks ago. And uh, on the left side of Malacas, we have two low-pressure systems that we are observing as of this time. Some computer models develop this system as... Uh, uh, tropical cyclones later in the uh, later by early next week but uh, so far it is likely that this one near the uh, coast of uh, Carga and Samar provinces may become a short-lived tropical uh, cyclone even a tropical storm but it depends on the uh, de but it depends on the circulation or the development of the system because it will undergo some Fujiwari Fujiwara interaction, so a direct cyclone interaction. Uh, that's the another term for the Fujiwara effect, in which the much stronger one will uh, pull the cyclone towards the circulation, towards its circulation, and eventually the uh, cloudiness of this system will be absorbed by tropical storm Malacas. Okay, since this uh, tropical storm is much larger than the uh, 94W or this LPA, so we are keeping an eye on this system based on the uh, computer models, particularly the European model. It shows that it will become a uh, tropical depression or even even a tropical storm but only for a span of one to two days before it will be absorbed into the circulation of Malacas. We're going to show to you the forecast models in a short while. So the trough into connecting uh, with another LPA here, 96W, near the uh, coast of the southern tip of Palawan, will bring uh, rains and thunderstorms across Mindanao, Visayas, Sulu Archipelago, Mimaropa, and the Bicol region while elsewhere across the extreme northern parts of Luzon and the Karayan Island group. Uh, these are the north. These areas will be under the influence of the northeasterly surface wind flow, simply known as northeasterlies. Okay, so that's the uh, latest from our graph set. If we uh, take a look at the uh, latest uh, satellite Animation. This is the fast animation from the University of Wisconsin tropical cyclone page. Here is the fully developed tropical storm Malacas, and here is the uh, 94W, which is now starting to organize near the coast of Carga, 
okay, or just to the east of uh, Shagao Island. So we are keeping an eye on this system. If it does develop, we will be issuing uh, storm updates to our website, typhoon2000.ph, as well as at our Facebook page, mrtyphoon.com. Now, uh, let me show to you the zoom in satellite animation. So this is now the developing uh, wind bands of LPA 94W, which is somewhere here. Okay, so uh, the rains and thunderstorms are now em enveloping the whole island of uh, Samar, and uh, that includes Samar provinces, and uh, this will be uh, causing some flooding flash floods and landslides in low-lying areas, so please take all necessary precautions as well as here along the uh, various portions of Mindanao and some portions of Visayas as well. Uh, over the Bicol region, there might be some stray thunderstorms that will bring some rains okay, within uh, the next 24 to 48 war hours until Monday, so watch out for that. It depends on the uh, development of this uh, LPA-94W. If it does develop into a tropical cyclone, there will be some rains also affecting the Bilko region, but it is forecast to move towards that direction. It will be absorbed by the approaching and the much larger tropical storm Malakas, which is currently here. There you go. So this is the much larger system. Now let's take a look at the rain forecast for the next three days until Monday. This is from the European model, which is more accurate when it comes to the rainfall forecast. So as of this time, it's already 1.30 a.m. The uh, LPA is somewhere here, as we have shown you in the previous slide on the satellite animation. And this afternoon, that LPA will start to uh, to spin up more and likely to become a tropical depression within the next 24 to 48 hours. And here comes the uh, areas of summer and uh, later, or eastern Visayas, as well as northern Caraga, Surigao provinces. That includes the Nagat and Shargao Islands. So these areas will be, have some on and off rainfall and thunderstorms that could uh, generate some flooding and uh, landslides in uh, hazard prone areas so on sunday afternoon that lpa will still be there near the coast of Karga and uh, likely continue to bring occasional rainfall across uh, uh, eastern visayas and northeastern mindanao and on monday afternoon that LPA will start to move and it be absorbed into the circulation of the uh, passing tropical storm or soon to be Typhoon Malakas, which is expected to uh, either enter or not. Okay, uh, the Philippine Sea. So uh, the rainfall will uh, also affect central and western Visayas, Mindanao, and uh, portions of the Bicol region. So that will be on Monday and on Tuesday. The uh, tropical uh, storm or typhoon uh, Malakas is now expected to move more to the north with a possible curvature to the south of Japan. And here is the uh, uh, remnants of LPA 94W which is expected to move towards the circulation of uh, soon to be Typhoon Malakas. And if we take a look on Wednesday, it's no longer there. The remnants of 94W is already along the outer uh, rain bands of tropical storm or, or soon to be Typhoon Malakas. Okay, and if we take a look at the total rainfall accumulation, now the rain bands of 94W will dump more heavy rains across eastern Visayas and Carga region as well as southern Bicol that includes Sacramentoanes, Albay, Sorsogon and Masbate, Tikau and Burias Island, uh, northern uh, Negros and northern Panay. So please take all the precautions for possible uh, flooding, flash floods uh, and landslides. Okay. And if we take a look at the uh, 
wind and pressure forecast from the European model. This is the latest as of uh, 6 p.m. UTC, or that's around 2 p.m. in the Philippine time. And uh, the forecast for this afternoon, this is now the uh, LPA becoming an active one and possible becoming a tropical depression anytime today or tomorrow. And here comes tropical storm Malacas accelerating more to the north northwest Sunday afternoon uh, the system is now approaching uh, to the Yap to the north of Yap Island and here comes the small remnants of tropical disturbance 94W or LPA 91W and on Monday afternoon the uh, circulation of 95 of 94W will start to be absorbed into the circulation of the much larger tropical storm Malacas and it's expected to enter briefly the Philippine area of responsibility before it will start to move towards the northeast. Here's the remnants you can clearly see here the remnants of a tropical disturbance 94W and on Tuesday afternoon the uh, uh, remnants of uh, 94W will start to be absorbed into the circulation of the uh, uh, soon-to-be typhoon Malacas while inside the Philippine Air Responsibility and on Wednesday it will uh, now start to accelerate more to the north and uh, uh, northeast so like that okay and uh, the circulation or the uh, remnants of uh, tropical disturbance or LPA 94W is already within the rain bands of uh, typhoon or tropical storm Malacas. Okay, and on Thursday, Holy Thursday, it will start to move, accelerate towards the north northeast. Improving weather conditions will be expected in various sections of the country. Okay, and before we leave you, here's the uh, peak of our new website. This is a newly... Uh, designed website after almost uh, 20 years we redesigned this website with the help of Cinemax Corporation and uh, for guys who still want to view our uh, old website just click here the old site uh, we have a button here we have a link here just click it and you're gonna see the old website by the way uh, we are now accepting sponsors to our website and uh, these are now the new sponsors of Typhoon 2000 okay and thank you guys for supporting our website and our advocacy uh, during the past 25 years and uh, you, can, you can find the uh, tropical cyclone information somewhere here below the banner ads so here's the uh, daily graph set. Just click it, and you will you will be able to view the uh, uh, graph set. Okay, and uh, the link towards our YouTube channel, and uh, here's a satellite loop of tropical storm uh, Malacas. Okay, just uh, click it, and here comes now the active tropical cyclone. Here's the name of the storm, the uh, position every six hours. This is the date, um, the uh, latitude, longitude, the uh, maximum sustained winds, the uh, direction and uh, movement, plus the speed of the storm. This is the speed of the motion of the movement. Okay, this is the uh, maximum sustained winds, and this is the uh, area where it is located, or likely the threatened area. And the same warnings are here, the satellite images, the tracks, the rain data, the models. Now, if you're asking what are the, uh, I mean, the uh, computer model output on this uh, Malacas. So, if we take a look at the uh, uh, global models, it shows here that the system is uh, expected to recurve, not a threat to our country. And if we take a look at the multi-agency tracks, most of them shows a curvature on or before entering PAR. Okay, so that's the multi-tracks of uh, Tropical Storm Malacas. 
Now, uh, T2K warnings are still non-existent because are still non-existent because we, this uh, tropical storm is not a threat to our country. But uh, uh, if uh, the other one develops near the coast of uh, Eastern Visayas or Eastern Mindanao, we will issue warnings on that. Okay. So that's the uh, new website. We have here the T2K volunteer weather stations, the data. Okay. And then... Uh, what else? We have here the uh, tropical weather advisories from different uh, weather agencies. And uh, T2, T2K email updates if you want to receive updates via email on the uh, approaching tropical cyclones. Uh, so that's it. That's the uh, new website. Again, uh, if the low pressure system east of summer becomes a tropical cyclone, we are going to issue special coverage this weekend. But now, if not, on Monday, we will uh, return to give you the latest on those uh, tropical uh, storm outside of power and these two tropical uh, low pressure systems. Okay, so let's hope and pray that this system will not affect any part of the country. And we'll see you again on Monday. This is Mike Pado reporting. Thank you so much for watching our channel and have a great weekend ahead.